Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pierre, and hello, we have, you see me, technologies. Anyways, we're going to talk about burnout, especially programmer uh, burnout. But before we do a little cautionary tale, I suppose, maybe you can see yourself in this example, hopefully not. You remember the good old days when you were watching my tutorials about making a Discord bot and you were crazy good at everything, or maybe not, but you were excited and motivated. You wanted to make that little bot do anything you really wanted, right? But you could, because you would just watch one or two videos, and you would just add on more code onto it, and it would work. And that's like a great view. You felt like a god, right? So you watched one more video and added one more thing, and then profiles, and you added a database behind it or whatever. And then eventually you deployed it on like a Raspberry Pi, and you life was good. Well, how come that's not the case? These days, you probably just sit there and uh, watch that one annoying Visual Studio error that you're not really sure can be fixed, really, because your legacy project is just too hard to maintain at this point, and it's been going on for over six years, and nobody's, nobody's caring, right? So why should you? And you're just drained, because it's always that. You, you just want to start working on that new feature, but then there's this weird roadblock that doesn't make sense. And if it does, it's been fixed like five years ago, but our stack is just so old that, well, we still are dealing with it. So you go, you know, okay, never mind. I'm going to sit here in my gray, sad cubicle, and I'll just keep typing away and you might think that, you know, that's going to get better. And so you soldier on, hoping that it will get better. But no amount of anime stickers in your, um, in your gray uh, cubicle is going to fix that feeling. And you know that. And you might lie to yourself that, you know, the real thing that you need in your life is that RGB keyboard that's surely going to fix all of your motivation issues. <laughs> uh, but that's not the case either. You go to so you go home, uh, you sleep it off, and then eventually in the morning you feel good. You stretch. You go, yeah. You know what? Another day, uh, hopefully another productive day. Um, but then uh, it kind of dawns on you the error is still there, and you still kind of have no idea how to fix it. But eh, fine, maybe it's not that bad. So you sit down, uh, eat breakfast with your that kind of looks like a dinner honestly but because who drinks wine for breakfast i swear i search for breakfast all right never mind you eat breakfast with your friends you can hear them uh chatting oh janice have you seen that new javascript framework oh yeah tammy that it's Jenny, a guy now whatever um but you don't hear them but you don't actually hear them all you can see and hear is that error and you're like uh oh, how am i gonna fix that so you eventually get your ass in the seat uh, in the office you sit down and actually there's like 20 more errors that you didn't even remember um and it's way worse so instead of working on that you just watch relationship videos so that you can feel something other than pain if that's you you might th be thinking, am I stupid? No, you're just burnt out. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. What an intro, am I right? <laughs> it's like the production value is going uh, through the roof. In fact, got a little bit of a motivational thingy here. All right. If you didn't, if you didn't realize this is a very lighthearted video, hopefully. Uh, oh, also, look. Wow, we right? Yeah, it's chill. I, it's kind of gloomy, honestly, but um, it supposedly is also chill. So we're going to talk about burnout. Hopefully this is not too loud. Let me actually make it slightly uh, quieter. What is burnout? Uh, burnout is just when you do something so much that you just get sick of it. You just get sick of even thinking about it, you know, and, and with programming, it's um, it's definitely a very common problem, at least for me. Right. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not. Uh, I'm not some like crazy uh, programming machine and I don't just like uh, spend 16 hours a day in Visual Studio. Not anymore, <laughs> at least. Um, uh, I used to. I used to for sure. Um, but what I like to say, so 
all of, all of this is just like my personal experience. I'm not telling you how to live your life. You decide for yourself. You're gonna have to, uh, you know, see what works and what doesn't for you. I'm just gonna share my experience. Um, then again, I'm not I'm not the most I'm not the most you know, uh, like classically productive person. I don't do many to do lists. Um, I'm not too uh, organized with with uh, stuff other than programming. That is, <laughs> um, so that's that's something I can definitely improve on. But it still happens. It still happens to uh, to everyone. I've seen people who are, you know, uh, on top of their game and they still uh, burn out. So. One thing that I feel like is um, true, no matter what your stance on uh, burnout really is, is that um, it's easier to prevent it than to fix it. Um, and I think we can work with that, right? But what if what if it already happened? So first of all, prevention. I think we all kind of kind of already know uh, what I'm going to talk about. It's just take breaks. Um, don't feel guilty when you're not programming. Um, I suppose do something else, have a, have another hobby, uh, you know, go skiing or play video games or something, you know, anything. Um, or just, um, or just like binge watch YouTube videos, not like this one though. Or maybe, yeah, maybe actually you watch my entire video catalog until you get inspired. <laughs> um, no, but the, the real sort of advice here is um, to just take breaks. Um, it can be very difficult, especially if you get into the flow, right? Um, so you're sitting there, you're programming the, as, as uh, Uncle Bob likes to say, uh, uh, code is pouring from your fingers and, and actually all of the orifices. Um, but you gotta stop at some point, still gotta take breaks. That's the most difficult part about prevention, right? You you gotta take breaks when maybe you don't even feel like it, right? Um, leave some exciting work for tomorrow, let's say, because then you, it, at least you're going to be excited to work on it, which is exactly the opposite of, of burning out, right? That's good. What? Let's say it's a bit too late, Peter. I already burnt out. I already feel like that guy watching uh, YouTube videos instead of fixing that goddamn error. Um, what can I do now? Um, that is a good question. Now, the answer is not as simple, um, and that's the that's the that's the part that's going to probably depend on you a lot. Um, what it happens to me when I burn out, um, just cannot continue. That's not like pushing through it. Pushing through a burnout does not work. All right, that's you got to understand that. That's just a hundred percent. That's not going to work. Um, you could possibly slow down, um, make uh, smaller, lighter commitments. Uh, that's for sure. But what you need to do is just take a break and take a honest full on break, like take a week off type of thing. Right. And I know what you might be saying on the computer, but like, you know, we're nearing a release or whatever, or, you know, um, maybe there are some tasks that, that I need to finish and uh, that, that are assigned to me can't afford to to take a take a week off. But you got to understand that this is a, that's a basically an emergency. Um, I mean, hopefully you're not burning out every week. All right. If you are, there's, ooh, I mean, you got to work on that prevention a lot more. Um, but so, so unless it's like every week, every, if it's every now and again, hopefully, and again, hopefully it wouldn't happen, but if it accident, if it kind of happens, you know, um, then you should absolutely ask for some time off, you know, um, people can, um, people who don't understand can definitely try to push you into into doing more work and sort of like soldiering through it. Um, I think there's a there, there is a possibility of someone like mistaking it for just being lazy. Um, but you got to understand that that's not the case, right? They've got to understand that that's not the case. And if they if they are going to push you into it, if you're going to push yourself, um, then it's going to take even longer to recover and you're going to be uh, down for a lot longer, right? So it's better to take a week off now than pushing it, doing shitty work for a while and then having to take like a, like, you know, a month off or whatever, you know, 
because uh, I have a. I, I think it's safe to say that the longer you push through it, the longer you're going to take to recover. Um, at least that that is definitely true for me. Right. Another thing is, um, in terms of either recovery or prevention, um, try to try to just like you know get a little more comfortable. Um, programming is a is a mean to an end, right? That's you don't just sit down and program for the sake of it. Um, you usually are trying to achieve some um, some goal, right? And so what you can maybe do is try to reconnect with. Uh, with that passion over there and and while it might be that's at least what works for me right um the way the ways i kind of do it is well i like to watch um uh, videos about maybe software cross mission something more ethical uh try to reconnect with the with the ethical part of of programming um i like watching uh, some uncle bob's lectures uh, even just some you know random youtubers um there's one um yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the uh, in the description. It's a uh, I think it got suggested by Tom in our um, in our uh, community on Element this time. We do have a Discord, so feel free to join the Discord. Um, it got suggested uh, by Tom, so shout out to Tom. Um, it's like this Japanese programmer, and it's very cozy. It looks super fancy. You can, it's like almost ASMR, you know, you only like uh, hear, you know, him clicking and stuff. Uh, there's no, he doesn't speak in most of his videos. Um, it's very relaxing. You can see that maybe, uh, maybe you can uh, see programming as an aesthetic, right? As an experience. Um, you can maybe build your own ritual that way and try to I don't know what it takes for you, if it takes Spotify, um, rain sounds in the background, and a cup of tea, um, or and programming maybe super early in the morning. I don't know, that could be it. Or maybe take... Uh, one thing that, that works for me is um, to do a very simple challenge, right? Like a super simple kata. Uh, it could be like a bowling game kata or uh, like a minesweeper game uh, in some in a language that I'm very comfortable with. So for me, that would be C sharp, right? And I um, do it in a non-traditional way. Uh, maybe I take my laptop and I go program in the local park or whatever, you know, that's exciting it's you know a change of scenery um sometimes it works but sometimes it doesn't sometimes it's just frustrating uh and i just abandon that uh but sometimes it's actually really cozy and really interesting um but then again uh one of the one of the techniques that work for me at least is um just literally stopping you know not doing it anymore um there was a video by someone else i again forgot their their name about burnout as well um and i really like uh their quote they said um you're a programmer what are you gonna do not program um you don't don't i guess don't worry about losing it you're not gonna lose it. it's like riding a bike you know you don't forget that okay um it's the because Remember, it's not the specific knowledge in one domain, in one programming language, in one framework. It's not that knowledge. Yes, you might actually get a little rusty with those, but it's the underlying logic that you learned, all right? That you're not going to forget, all right? You're not going to forget, uh, you know, conditional loops. You're not going to forget, you know, flow control. You still know there's an if statement. You still know how, you know, uh, code gets executed and you're not going to forget that so don't worry about that um, and the rest is just um, take a break don't stress it I suppose all right guys well that was a little bit of a motivational video here hopefully uh, hopefully you ha you got a little haha -ha in there um, and uh, maybe maybe that helped you maybe it didn't maybe you're gonna just watch it passively as you're like programming around 2 a.m. And then, um, what, hopefully not, you know, 
God forbid you're gonna burn out and then you're gonna be like, ah, yeah, that beater guy, that beater guy, maybe he was uh, kind of right. Maybe I can uh, stop for now. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna mention it again. We've got a Discord uh, server if you want, if that's your thing, if you wanna uh, network with uh, like-minded people. Uh, if you're privacy conscious, we do have an element group too. And um, that is most of it. All right, you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.